Welcome to the easytaxes.gov tutorial for uploading forms W-2 and 1099. Today, we will discuss how to complete the web upload of these forms and how to check their e-file statuses. Let's begin. From the easytaxes.gov home screen, select Login to Easy Taxes. Log in to your user profile by providing the username and password that were established during the easytaxes.gov new user registration process. After logging into your easytaxes.gov account, select the eFile Documents link from the menu bar on the left. This will open a drop down menu that displays two options eFile Status and Web Upload. To begin the process of uploading Forms W-2 and 1099, select Web Upload. Next, the Welcome to Web Upload screen will display. Please note that this screen will change depending upon the type of account registrations associated with the business. In this example, the business selected has both a transaction privilege tax account and a withholding account. To begin the upload process, read the information on the screen and select W-2-1099 Forms. In this example of the Welcome to Web Upload page, the business selected has only a withholding account. To begin the upload process, read the information on the screen and select Continue. This will bring you to the web upload page. Please read the information on the screen before continuing with the process. When you are ready to upload your file, select Choose File next to the file name and path callout. It is important to note that only .txt files can be accepted. Next, your computer's file explorer will display. Navigate to where the file is stored on your computer. Select the appropriate file, then select Open. Next, using the File Type drop-down menu, select the file type that corresponds to the file you wish to upload. If you are uploading Form W-2 information, ensure to select the W-2 option. If you are uploading Form 1099-R information, ensure to select 1099-R, and so on. Once you have selected the file that you wish to upload and have selected the corresponding file type, select Upload File. Next, the Web Upload Confirmation screen will appear. AZTaxes.gov uses two levels of validation. This screen displays the first validation status and will either display a green successful message or a red failed message. If the green successful message is received, that means the file passed the first level of validation and has moved to the second level for processing. To check whether or not the file successfully passed the second level of validation, you must check the document's e-file status and wait for the status to update to either accepted or rejected. This process will be discussed in the next section of this tutorial. If the red fail to upload message displays, you can click the errors link to navigate to the rejection reasons. After selecting the errors link, a file displaying the reject reasons will be downloaded. If more than one reason caused the file to be rejected, those reasons will be listed in the download. Make corrections to your document to satisfy the reasons for rejection and then follow this upload process again. Repeat until the green successful upload message is received. Next, we will discuss how to check the e-file status of uploaded forms. From the easytaxes.gov home screen, select Login to AZ Taxes. Log in to your user profile by providing the username and password that were established during the easytaxes.gov new user registration process. After logging in to your AZ Taxes account, select the eFile Documents link from the menu bar on the left. This will open a drop down menu that displays two options eFile Status and Web Upload. 
To check the status of your uploaded forms W-2 and 1099, select e-file status. If you have both a withholding and a transaction privilege tax account, this e-file documents page will display. This provides you the option to choose which uploaded files you would like to review. Using the drop-down menu under Filing Type, select W-2 and 1099. If there is only one type of registration associated with your business, the screen will not display. The e-file document summary page will then display. Beginning from the left, you can see the date and time that the file was submitted, as well as the file name and the form type. The next column is the validation status. If the status says in progress, please check back later to see if your upload was successful. If the validation status displays as completed, the next fields will tell you how many unique employers or payers were included in the upload and how many of those unique employers were accepted or rejected. It is possible to upload a file where some employers or payers were accepted while others were not. In the event that your upload contains some rejected files, select the Reject Reasons link to see a list of lines that were not accepted. Once the Reject Reasons were viewed, make the appropriate corrections to the applicable employer or payer file. When corrections have been completed, the file must be resubmitted. When completing the corrected file upload, remove any employers or payers that were accepted and resubmit only those unique employers or payers that were rejected during the initial upload process. Ensure any records containing the file totals are updated to reflect any changes made. If the file was successfully uploaded and passed both validation steps, it will look like this. Once your file was successfully uploaded, this process is complete. For questions on this process, please contact us via email at azwebfilesupport at azdor.gov or by phone at 602-255-3381. If you have additional interest in online tutorials, other available workshops, or would like to request a speaker, please visit www.azdor.gov forward slash taxpayer hyphen education. And get the latest information automatically by enrolling for the Arizona Department of Revenue's email updates. Sign up today at azdor.gov. Thank you for your time today.